Well, Saturday the 20th of April 2018, 06.40 hours, British, rather grey, summer time. Lovefest 3. It's been spotting rain. It's really rather cold. I'm looking forward to it. So here's a plan. Costa, emergency haircut, Malcolm Uphill, 10 past 11 bus to the pottery in the Tree Forest Industrial Estate. Quality plan. I don't think it's going to get much warmer. And it is rain forecast. Yeah. Spring time. Okay, haircut. A couple of practice beers to start. Bus station over that one. Okay, let's go in. Let us start with some carpet for Mr. Banning. And a nice pint. And a bit of Tommy Cooperness. Anyway, you arrive four minutes late and your usual booth is gone. Let that be a warning to me. Darkness from the Acorn Brewery, part of this signature series. 4.2% alcohol by volume. One of this, aromatic and malty. We like aromatic and malty. We also like hoppy. Miss Tommy Cooper. Mmm. I'd say aromatic, malty, and fruity. I'll give that B plus in a bit, that's not bad. Yeah, B plus in a bit. Um, number two, the Warrior from Evan Evans. 4.6% alcohol by volume, the, the head has settled. Not much in the way of aroma. Oh, it could be my nose, or both. Malty and fruity. In fact, very fruity. A little bit sweet. B plus. Well, this is a good sign. And there we go. Bracky to lol. Lol fast three. And arrived. There is food, although I'm not particularly melted cheese. Although I am quality brews. I'm going in. I have my PayPal number. Well, there could be a take then. However, look at that. Little red cow, tooty fruity, Diablo dragons. Crazy peacock and dragon. Uh, and don't tell camera. I look suspiciously like egg. And teas. We love teas. And we're off. In a tutti frutti glass, this is Diablo Dragons. 5.5% alcohol by volume, New Zealand Pale Ale, collab with Gaza Prescott. And I must admit, and they have the Slade. Oh, got the Slade. It's bitter, it's hoppy. There's a bit of fruit in the finish. And there we go. <laughs> That's a B plus plus. I must find Excellent. <laughs> I'm just blown away. It's great. This is Little Red Cow. 3.7% alcohol by volume. 
Tiana Tuki Fuki Glass. I have purchased a t-shirt. Um, wow. Oh, that's... That's really hoppy and bitter. That's a big plus plus. Yep. The obvious Hotel California takedown. Mine host in the green t-shirt. The beers. This pack. It's going really, really well. However, battery technology, not as good. So, okay, we're all on the same beer. This is Glow in the Dark, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Described as a dark ale. And look, people are signing up for the newsletter, which is great. There's my host over there, you can just see his back. And there's a great, the music is great. Okay, malty, burnt notes. <laughs> Nice bitter coffee-like finish. That'll be a B plus plus because it deserves it. I don't know. Something that we've got to be close. And it's 4.4 percent alcohol by volume. <laughs> That's what he said. Does it? I don't speak Welsh. All right. I struggle with English. Fourth <laughs> nice. That's very nice. He's on the vlog now. He's speaking to his machine. It's the one above his head at the moment. In red. The hat. Big hat. No, it's next to that. Oh, next to that. Uh, that's called uh, Henry de Pest. Yes. Yes, yeah, through the post. Yes, that's it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think that's got Belgian yeast in it. Never. It's bubble oh, gummy. Is any European migrants? No, 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 no. This is terrible. Belgian. Oh. Belgian beer. I'm going to see. I'm going to see Mrs. Red about this. Oh, no, Miss, no, no, no. Miss Red about this. They're not from the Windrush generation. This may go terrible. tomorrow, so she might not be there. No, no. I was surprised that she didn't go yesterday. Yeah. And when it was announced, when it was announced this morning, anyway, she said, plus plus. I don't remember reading 